Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 29th of 2023. Well, it is titled Barnard 68 Dark Molecular Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, we see, see what seems to be an empty spot in space where very few or no stars are present. So we see a lot of stars off to the sides with this big dark glob there seems to have no stars. Now that's not the case. There are actually just as many stars in this direction as there are in any other parts of the field where we see lots and lots of stars. The reason we don't see as many is because this is known as a molecular cloud. It has a higher concentration of dust and molecular gases that absorb all of the light from the stars, making it almost impossible to see through the cloud to see the stars beyond it. However, we know the stars there and we actually can look through these if we do it with the right type of light. So if we want to look through the cloud, what we find is that the dust particles are very good at scattering and absorbing the shorter wavelengths of light. So the longer wavelengths of light that we use are better able to penetrate this. So if we look at this invisible light as shown in our image today, we see that there is appears to be nothing there. However, if we looked at in this in infrared light, we would see all of the stars glowing there just as they are uh, around it. And that's because the infrared wavelengths are longer and are better able to penetrate through the dust. So it's a way to look through into the dust using things like infrared. Now these are also regions where stars are forming. So the star forming regions are often dark dusty areas within these molecular clouds where enough material is condensing in order to form new stars. So it is quite possible that eventually new stars will form and begin to illuminate what is now a very dark region of space. And um, as new stars form, their energies will start to clear away at the darker areas. Now, one thing you can notice is that there are some stars within the edges of this nebula, and they seem to have something in common. They all look very red. And that's because that's the only light that can penetrate through the edges of the molecular cloud. And in fact, if you look around, you see around the edges of this, there seem to be far more red stars than other types of stars, especially when you look further out into other parts of this image. Again, that's because those stars are not necessarily truly very red stars, but simply because that is the light that is able to penetrate. Red light has the longest wavelength of the visible portion of the spectrum that we look at. So it is best able it'll be the last of the light to be able to make it through the dark molecular cloud before all of the light is absorbed as it gets a little bit denser. So that was our picture of the day for January 29th of 2023. It was titled Barnard 68 Dark Molecular Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be bright marking on the sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.